Do you know that not only do I have this, which is a a, a text adventure from the 80s, I also have a Hobbit text adventure from the 80s, very similar to this, that I don't think I ever got very far with. But for now, we are playing Transylvania, a game that kicked my ass as a kid. It's, you know, mainly a text adventure, but it also has graphics. But when you played this on the PC Junior, it had to draw it. So it would take a minute to actually draw, and it would have to actually load off the disc. when, Like, because there's a werewolf who fucks with you constantly, and, uh... Well, you'll get the idea. Welcome to Transylvania. Won't you sign the guest register? Your name. Your next of kin. Tonight it will be Lady M. You are facing an ancient stump covered with faint writing. A path leads north. Now, it isn't technically <laughs> it's a text adventure because graphics. <laughs> this was what you got on your, to play on your PC in the eighties. <laughs> All right, we are gonna run through this. It'll take like a half hour, as long as the game doesn't fuck with me, which it is very capable of doing. Because there's a werewolf. Yeah, I'm boned. There's a werewolf who will eat you if you make a wrong move and he shows up on your screen. There's an eagle who is constantly flying around and randomly will grab you and throw you to a random part of the map. And there's a vampire to kill. So, and plus this guide is wrong on a couple of things. Uh, you are near a cave entrance shut by a lock slide. Paths lead west and south. We will go west. You are in a dark area of the forest. A note lies on the ground. The paths go in all directions. We shall read said note. The scribbled note reads, Sabrina dies at dawn. A uh, quick backstory. We are in Transylvania trying to rescue Sabrina the princess. Okay, we go north. Oh, um, you're facing a shack on a north-south dirt road. Behind you is a log cabin. Enter cabin. Okay, here's where things get a little weird. We're going to pull on the antlers to enter a secret room. This game came with a business card for a wizard who said if you ever wanted to meet him, you had to sing some enchanted evening. <laughs> so... Boom. <laughs> Greetings to you, I am Zin. I can't state your help, I just popped back from Wizard Fest for a moment. Ah, why am I not doing Gandalf? Greetings to you, I am Zin. <laughs> I can't stay to help, I just popped back from a Wizard Fest for a moment, but I must return. This cross may help. May we meet again someday. Poof. Oh, some enchanted evening, you may meet a stranger. A deep booming voice joins in, you may meet a stranger across a crowded room. So, we just got a cross. Uh, we also need this cloak, and we have to wear it. Okay, now we pull the horns again, and there's our fucking werewolf. Uh, the wall spins, and you are inside a log cabin. You see a menacing werewolf. Okay, we go north. I'm not going to read it every... We're only going to read the first time. You are standing near a broken pa horse-drawn wagon. Paths go north, south, east, and west. Sorry, got an itch. Uh, east? You are at the crossing of a northwest and east pass. To the north lies a castle. You heard some rustling noises nearby. You are standing before a gloomy castle. The pass that goes south. We are going north into said castle. You stand in the castle's north-south entranceway. Open doorways are to the east and west. You see a vampire! Yeah, but we show the vampire. Our cross we just got. 
The vampire raises his cloak as the light from the cross hits him. The beam is absorbed into the cloak as the vampire turns toward you. The cloak begins to glow with the power of the light. In his desperate attempt to save himself, the weakened vampire transforms into a giant bait. There is a bright flash that leaves you momentarily sightless. The sound of wings flapping, then nothing but silence. Okay, I believe west is where we have to go. Nope, I had to go east. Uh, you are in the side room. A piece of light paper lies nearby. The exit is where you turn left. You're west, excuse me. Take the paper. Okie dokie. We go west. We head north. Uh, you are in a vast chamber. A grand staircase leads up and the hall stops down to the east. An exit lies to the south. We will go down. You are in a saddle room with a vault door. Exits are to the south, up and down. We will go down. You are in a misty dungeon. Stairs low up and down. We are going down. You are in a low chamber. An ornate treasure copper sits in the middle of the room. A single staircase leads up. Open the coffer. Okay, there's a ring inside the coffer. Take the ring. Okay, we wear the ring. And now we go up. And up. And up. <laughs> and now we go south. South again. South again. Okay, now we're out of the castle. We go east. There's the fucking vampire. I mean, a werewolf. North. And east. This werewolf is going to be a pain in our ass. I'm just warning you. Uh, we... <clears throat> a rough voice shouts, Get out! An old but elegant frame house stands before you. A dark road goes west and a small path leads north around the house. Enter the house. Uh, yeah, the bread is not really necessary. You're in the house. A loaf of bread sits on the floor. A staircase goes up. Oh, you're in a large attic. A flint lock pistol is on the floor. Stairs lead down. Take the pistol. Oh, I forgot to drop the damn... Drop cross. Now we can go down. Uh, now we can exit. The werewolf is probably going to be here. You heard some rustling noises nearby. <laughs> okay, nope. We can go north around the house. God damn. Damn it. Now we gotta go south because we gotta run. Try north again. Thank God because that would have killed me. Motherfucker, this fucking werewolf. The music's right, though. Oh, this guy wants a piece of my ass, yeah. I think, um... I think I'm gonna have to go one more... Okay, good. Now we can open the doors and head down. This is the graphical fatality. <laughs> you descend the deep staircase into a deep dark cellar. You are in the dark cellar. You can see nothing. Clink, clink, cutter. Something metallic sounding falls from the wall to the floor. As you grope along the slime before, you find the metal bar. I really hope I have inventory for this. Okie dokie. Okay. You grope for the staircase and slowly surface into the light. A strange, ghostly shape just floated by, mournfully crying, Thomas, Thomas. It is delectable. It is very, very. It is. My rump roast is known the world over. Um. Go up, go south, go west, west, south. Ah, shit. Oh, you are in a gloomy cemetery. Paths go north, west, and south. We want to go south. Wait, do we want to go south? Yes, okay. Okay. We can enter the wagon. I really hope the werewolf isn't here. A rough voice shouts, Get out! 
You're inside the broken horse drawn wagon next to a coffin. Open coffin with bar. You see a trio of ravenous mice. Hey, pick up the mice. You're carrying too much. Great, and now they got away. Great. Fuck. Oh, I could drop the bar. Okay. Shit. Load the gun. Okay. Shoot the damn wolf. Got him! With a desperate hell, the wolf collapses. Slowly, its outline changes into that of a decrepit old man, then crumbles into dust. We need the mice for a puzzle later on, but they're running around. We'll find them. So now the werewolf is dead. We don't have to deal with the fucking werewolf anymore. Drop the gun. Because that's useless now. And now we can take the mice. Yay! That actually turned out pretty well. That werewolf can be a pain in the ass. Because if you load the gun when he's there, he kills you. Okay, east, east, south. Uh, you're near a small clay hut. Paths go north and south, but we want to enter the hut. You hear a loud hissing meow. You're inside a clay hut. I can't eyes you warily. We, however, can drop the mice. All three mice jump out of their hands. The mice run away and the cat chases after them. That's why we wanted the mice. <laughs> um, the broom seems to have a personality all its own. The spider grins at you. Ooh, far away, a clock strikes one. Uh-oh. Take acid. Exit. Okay. North, west, west. Oh. <laughs> Poor computer. Doesn't do uh, understand when I go do a typo. South, south, east, south. Okay. Oh, I didn't check it before. Oh yeah, we, we're gonna drop acid. This is it's actually the secret um, origin of Breaking Bad. Uh, there's a residue on the stump. The acid sizzles violently over the writing. It is readable now. Whoops! The bottle slipped. Smash! Let me just check something real quick. Okay, cloak I'm wearing, ring I'm wearing, fly paper. Rough boy shouts, get out, you motherfucker. It appears to have been here a long, long time. The writing says, knock here. Poof! <laughs> You're in a large dark cave. There is a door mounted on the northern wall and a book on the floor. Flies buzz busily in the corner. Now. Oh, I keep doing that to this poor computer. Use the flypaper to catch the flies. Oh. Look in the cloak. There's a lockpick. Okay. Oh. It opened. You see a small cave. A crystal ball rests on a stalagmite. 
As you gaze into the crystal ball, you see a small orange flame burning with unnatural brilliance. As you peer deeper into the pyre, you see a statue. A figure clad in a wizard's cloak approaches the statue. On the wizard's hand is a shiny gold ring which glows with a soft white flame. With a wave of the hand, everything around the statue goes ablaze with, with bright green fire. You feel a jolt of thunder and return to your senses, stepping away from the crystal ball. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Read the book. Yeah, it iced here today, but no accumulation. All the pages have been ripped out except one. It reads, Magic Leapsters. Most types deal with the removal of spells cast on people. To use an elixir, simply wave the container to energize the ingredients and pour the contents on the subject. To complete the spell, clap your hands. If you've got a spell put on you and you know it, clap your hands. Okay. As you try to take the book, a mysterious voice shouts, It is mine! Go away! You are back in the forest. Uh, a giant eagle swoops down on you, grasps you in its talons, and takes you to another part of the forest. You are on the lakeshore near the willow tree. The single path leads to the east. This is actually fortuitous. This is the first time this has ever happened. The eagle took me where I needed to go. <laughs> so we feed the frog. You know, it does this every time, and I don't know why. The bullfrog springs forward and wolves down the flies. Thanks, he says, that howling shore whets your appetite. Say Ejenid to the goblin for me. He hops into the murky waters of the lake and vanishes. A rough voice shouts, Get out! Here's where the guide goes wonky. I know. The eagles in Transylvania don't have the same, um... You know, uh, scruples as the Middle Earth ones do. Okay, so we have to go east. I have to find that statue. Well, actually, I gotta find the... Um... The goblin, which is by the hut. See, it says go north three times, but I don't think it is north. I think it's west. We have to find... Oh, we can do this first, too. Oh. Uh, you are in a clearing with a statue. Paths go south and east. It appears to be made of fine marble. A quavering, muffled voice within the statue cries, Help me! Oh, hello, Kirok. <laughs> oh, boy, did you walk in on one. <laughs> Alright, so we wave the ring. A stream of white fire shoots from the ring to the statue. Green and white flames burn... He, boy, he came in on the weirdest fucking part, too. <laughs> Green and white flames burn quickly, engulfing all that is around you. Suddenly, a red fireball emerges, quelling the white and green flames in its fury. The silhouette of an alien creature <laughs> appears in front of the fireball. It steps forward into the returning darkness. Well met! You have freed me from my accursed prison. I am deeply indebted to you. The creature grasps the ring and crushes it in a violent explosion. When the smoke clears, statue and alien are nowhere to be seen. Nothing, we're doing a text adventure from my very, very youth. I played this when I was like 10 years old. <laughs> Alright, um... Can we go east from here? Okay, you know what, we can push the uh, tombstone too. Really? There it is. Okay. You found the grate behind the gravestone. Welcome back. Kirok is here, wondering what the hell he walked in on. Um... I know it's... No. It's not by the house. It's by the damn hut, and I can never find the damn hut when I need to. Nope. This isn't the biggest map in the world, either. No, 
No, that's the house, stupid. <laughs> oh, never mind. We can do this now, too. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm only streaming for like another 20 minutes or so because I got to get to work tomorrow. Uh, this was a test. I wanted to test my Sega CD emulator. That's true, William. Uh, I was testing my Sega CD emulator and how it would stream, and it streamed fine. So uh, now we're just running through this because I made this work yesterday, too. I was I wasted a lot of time yesterday working on emulators and stuff. <laughs> uh, you hit a wolf out in the distance. A brilliantly glowing flying saucer occupies the clearing, <laughs> passing to the south and to the east. Enter saucer. Fantastic, utterly fascinating. Oh no, everything is getting black. Help! At least I wasn't abducted. Right. So it's not here. Where the fuck? East, right. Okay, sorry. North. North. Like, I'm gonna fucking find this thing on sure luck. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I'll, I we can put on best of. <laughs> As if there is such a thing. What's south of here? Nope. There we go. Yes. Okay, here we are. <laughs> well, you should let him. Why Why would you not allow Charlie onto your lap? The goblin just gave you a juicy Bronx cheer. <laughs> You're in a sandy field. The fat little goblin is standing here twirling a tiny gleaming key. Paths lead north and west. Ishnid. The goblin drops the key and flees, screaming into the darkness. Took the key. Oh. Well, you should get a blanket or something. Oh, you just said it was 91 degrees. I forgot. Okay. Far away, a clock strikes two. You are in a secret chamber under the cemetery. A vial of elixir sits on the floor by your feet. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, Jesus. Sorry, game. There, now can I take the damn elixir? I can't believe a game in the early 80s has inventory like this. <laughs> okay. Okay, we did all that. Okay, go south, go east, go north three times. You're in a high castle chamber, a ladder is before you. Stairs lead down to the main floor. You are in a tower chamber, bathed in moonlight. A bundle of vines lies in the clump. You have found something. I don't understand what you want to look at. What the, what? <laughs> Never mind, I know it's a sarcophagus. Um... Oh, uh, the alien gave me a black box. <laughs> so we just push a button on it. Good thing we met the nice alien. 
Dazzling light escapes from the box and envelops the sarcophagus. In a violent blast, the lid flies off and explodes in a cascade of glowing dust. Oh dear. Suddenly your mission seems much more worthwhile. Ah? Huh? Ah? Huh? Yeah, I could see Anya doing that. She hasn't put out a new CD in quite a while. In fact, Christ, was the last thing she sang was the Lord of the Rings soundtrack? <laughs> no wonder she did this uh, song for the movie uh, Sleepwalkers. Okay, I'm um, sorry. Where was I? Oh, yeah. If you remember how to do your spell, you shake the elixir. Then you pour the elixir. You see lightning off in the distance. And now what do we do? Everybody clap your hands. Sabrina stirs a little and finally awakens. Sabrina, though still rather drowsy, giggles. You look rather silly in that oversized bed sheet. Hey, that oversized bed sheet. Sleepwalkers was Stephen King. And uh, Clyde Barker's in that movie in a cameo. Stephen King's in that movie in a cameo. I believe David Cronenberg is. But it's a terrible fucking movie. Do you know who else is in that movie? Um, if you ever watch Charmed, the blonde white lighter is in that movie. It might be his only movie. Alright. Let's head down, Sabrina. <laughs> you see? A wide awake princess. I'm sorry, but your princess is in another castle. Go, uh, west? South three times. <laughs> and here we are. Oh, I saw it in theaters. It involves two cat demon monsters, a mother and a son who are incestuous. And yes, Brian Krause. Oh, he did that shitty Blue Lagoon sequel. Yep. <laughs> and he's trying to hook up with what's her face from. Oh, I hear a wolf out in the distance. A sailboat bobs gently along the lake shore. A single path leads east. You see a wide awake princess. You stand the border, see where the sailboat, the Humboldt. You see a wide awake presence. Oh, speaking of Enya, sail away, sail away, sail away. <laughs> After a precarious few minutes, the journey goes smoothly. Somewhat tired and bewildered, Princess Sabrina graciously thanks you as you return to her kingdom. The king is suitably impressed and asks that you be sent to deepest Africa to save his other daughter. That evening, you sneak out on the peasant dress, plotting a rescuer of Sabrina from the king's castle. Well done! The end! <laughs> this was gaming... This was PC gaming in the 80s. <laughs> this was how you PC gamed in the 80s. You fuckers don't know how good you... I'm surprised my computer ran this game. <laughs> you don't know how I had to... I had to learn how to use RetroArch, and I had to learn how to run DOS on it, and then I had to, I had to learn so much shit to get this game running, but this was one of my biggest games as a, as a kid that wasn't on the NES. Oh, and the music kind of matches nice ending music. The music is generic horror movie music from, or horror music from YouTube. It doesn't come with the game. The game would have been silent. It's 
So that's that. You know what? I'm going to stream till at least midnight. We're going to actually bring up the Sega CD thing again. And we're just going to play... Which would you guys rather watch? An anime game about a time gal? Or an anime game about helicopter fighting? <laughs> I'll leave it up to you, the chat, while I rearrange everything. This was Transylvania, a, P a DOS text adventure from my youth. I probably played this 40 years ago. And I made it I made it I made it happen. 